are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And it's fouled away. Hit out towards second. Odor has it. Throw not in time, so he's able to beat one out here to kick off the ball game. Now a move over to first. Don't want to forget about it. At the plate now, Jose Martinez. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Now a throw over to first and a dive, but he's back. Set to deliver on two and one. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays DH. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Austin Meadows. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. The 2-1, Kiermaier's running. Pitch misses low. The throw down. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Swinging a blooper to the right side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the run will score as the Rays cash in on an early 1-0 lead. That is four. The left fielder, number 11. To the plate now, Hunter Renfro popped him up. Right fielder coming on. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Yandy Diaz. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Runners off for second. Strike taken to throw. Is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. And he fouls this one off. Popped him up. Odor over to his left makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Here's Elvis Andrus now. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes now to Andrus. Looked like he was on that one but it's one and two. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw on to first in time. One away. Up next for the Rangers, Hunter Cole. He was one for four with a triple in the ball game last night. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two hole hitter off the bags is always important. Fouled off. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. 
And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. To one and two now. From the stretch. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. So next to the plate for Texas, Joey Gallo. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 3-1. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Renfro will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. In now, Brandon Lowe. He homered back in Wednesday's game. And now pitch on the way. Fastball, and it gets by him a swinging strike. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. G-Man Choi waits on deck, and he got him. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. That is seven. The first baseman, G-Man Choi. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Into the box, Willie Adamas. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. He stays alive, still two and two. Two out, nobody on. This is foul right side. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two-two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. Another full count offering on its way. And that one misses. It's ball four. So a two-out walk gives the Rays some hope here in the inning. So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Weak grounder back to the mound. And that's out number one. Stepping in, Danny Santana. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now a changeup is bounced to second. He's got it. Throw gets him, two down. Stepping up to the plate, Todd Frazier. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here's the pitch. Ball. <laughs> Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired.
standing in Kevin Kiermeyer as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. Two balls, one strike, the count. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Long run for the center fielder. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. The pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. Now batting, right fielder, off the middle. Into the box now, Austin Meadows fouled away. The one two. Martinez leads off second with one gun in the inning. Just hung in there on that one. Again, a one two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. The 2-1 pitch. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Three and one, here it is. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Payoff pitch on its way. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. third now now batting Rugnet Odor and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year bounced on the ground and right after shifted infielders and that's the first down so run away here with the bases empty and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman fouled away now another one two change up laid off down around the shins count remains two and two Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ball game swinging a soft liner oh and he has some trouble with it and oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Riding in once again, Elvis Andrews. Second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. Now the one and one pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, you know, in the back of your mind, as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. Coming to the plate now, Hunter Cole. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Ready on one and two. Hit out towards second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. set for the start of the fourth. Up next for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. He flew out in his last at-bat. The 1-1 home. That's a corner. Come on, 
And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the now inning. Back. Number eight. Ready now. Brandon Lowe. One run on three hits. Two errors for the Rays in the game so far. A ball and two strikes. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Full count now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. Left fielder looking up, and it's gone as they add still another. Standing in now, G-Man Choi. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw gets him, two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Two runs, four hits. Two errors for the Rays in the game so far. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Striding forward now is the D.H. Willie Calhoun. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Three and two to the Rangers' designated hitter. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And that misses for ball now four. Back. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Joey. Yellow. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. The 1-2. Fouled off. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Has a look, now the pitch. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Ready for another chance? Robinson Chirinos. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 1-1. Runners on first with one down. Hit hard to the right side. Oh, he makes the stop. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Jesse Chavez is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Here now is Mike Zanino. His prior history versus this arm. He's totaled four hits in 16 tries. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Cole moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. The 3-2 pitch. 
A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Fouled away. The next 3 2. Swing and a liner. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. The now plate now for the Rays is the DH, Jose Martinez. Jose Martinez. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Danny Santana. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Here's Todd Frazier now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. And it's fouled away. The next three, two. There's ball four. Here's Rognit Odor now. Comes into this now at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit hard to short. Adamas picks it up. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Digging in. Austin Meadows, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. Pulled toward right center field. Odor ranging into the outfield. He's there and records the first down. Ready once again. Hunter Renfro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. This is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Now batter. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. Yandy. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. Now that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Struck him out. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Digging in to try it again. Ronald Guzman. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. 
Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers' leadoff hitter. The knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Drilled to the left side, and the Rangers are in the hit column. Now that the right field. Stepping in now, Hunter Cole sent on the ground out to second. To second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Has a look. Now the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one two. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. Fouled off. Fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. That goes Kiermeyer at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Cody Allen is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 31. Cody. Now at the plate, Brandon Lowe comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's fallen behind now three and one. When you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Count full three balls and two strikes. And it's fouled away. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The battle. The first baseman. G-Man four. At the plate, G-Man Choi. This ball will be chopped foul. Lays off two and two now. I got to tell. Two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Stepping in, Willie Adamas. Trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. Good break on the knuckle curve, but he missed with a two and one. Allen. A six foot one inch right hander. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. So here's Mike Zanino, runner in scoring position with Sugan. The 1-1. One, one. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. and one. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two, two is laid off of for ball number three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's throwing a bunch of pitches, and this A-B... Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Now, 
the center fielder. At the plate now, Kevin Kiermeyer. Ball grounded toward Odor at second. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Colin Poche gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 38. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. The batter. Standing in, Robinson Chirinos. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. The 2-1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back punch-outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The 1-1 one, one home. Line to the right side. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Your Nick Goody will please. come on and make his now, fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 41. Nick. Next will be the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone to lead off the inning. To the plate now, Austin Meadows. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Santana will back up and put this away for a long out number one. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Here now the 2-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Santana is underneath this one. And that's out number two. The Stepping three. into the box, Yandy Diaz. Yandy. No hits in three Yandy. tries so far. He struck out once. The one two. That's a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Jose Alvarado is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 46. Jose. Leading off the inning, Todd Frazier, and they'll need him to get something going here. The 2 2 pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Frazier is retired, and there's one away. Up next for the Rangers. Now at the plate, Rupnit Odor. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Fastball called strike one and two. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men now he faces out of the bullpen. The 
A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Alvarado is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk, and you can't defend a round tripper, and he does both. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. The bouncer up the middle. Adama scoops it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Rick Martin enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now at the plate, Brandon Lowe. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last eight. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Striding in, G-Man Choi. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. Is strike 2 swinging. One out, nobody on. Drilled to the right side. A door is there, and that's the second out. So striding in, Willie Adamas, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Two out, nobody on. And he'll fall behind now to 1 and 2. Grounder down the line at third. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Nick Anderson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 70. Nick. All set for the bottom of the ninth. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Everyone relax. Not a fastball right there. Obviously a little arm side run. He missed his spot. No big deal. Three and one to him now. Here it comes now to Andrus. Now Andrus with a swing and a deep drive to left. Looking up is the left fielder. And that one is gone. In now Hunter Cole and now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball it's two and one curveball and he thought it was strike two instead it goes to three and one I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound this is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box full count now three and two Count remains full. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Line to the right side. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. The the designated hitter, Willie. So Calhoun. now to the plate, Willie Calhoun. And the count will be full. Hit sharply on the ground. Scooped up. One there. Back to first. A ninth inning double play. And they're an out away from closing this one out. Digging in. Joey Gallo. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. 
And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll make the catch to end it, and the Rays have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. Tonight's ball game comes to a close, 3-1 to one the final. The Tampa Bay Rays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Ryan Yarbrough takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, permitting only one hit in six complete innings. Mike Miner was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Nick Anderson earns the save out of the bullpen, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. The for more, for make your way over to theshownation.com. Three runs on seven hits, two errors. They left five men on base. For the Rangers, one run on three hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and forty minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home safely.